Aziz Ulam Radi from MCCS Consultancy and Coaching YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you some errors appearing while we are opening a file, especially an Excel or an Access file, and also an error of not being able to create a folder. Let me explain a bit more about the errors. Have you ever noticed the pop-up errors like this? When you try to open an Excel or an Access file and the file is not opening and showing the pop-up errors. Actually, this kind of error is not an error which should relate to missing file or the file is corrupt with the MS Office application. With this issue, we are still able to open new file from Paint application on taskbar or we open the file from the search area. Actually, this is the issue with the files which are on some specific locations where the file path crosses its limitation. What does it mean? Let me show you practically. Just keep watching. MCCS Transforming Experience Presenting Opportunities Okay guys, here is as example I'm gonna show you that this file is not gonna be opened. If you right click on this file, this is the Excel file. We want to open it, but it will not be opened. You see here, it tells us cannot open the file because the file path of the file is too long. Please keep the full path less than to 18 characters. When we click on OK, there will be another pop-up error like a uh, sorry we couldn't find the file what we are going to do just click on ok the solution is to shorten the file path how can we do that if you see here this is the file path which is very long for the ms excel file if you copy this file path and you open a word file Paste it here, select all of them and come here, click on words. You see here characters with spaces 222. It means it is more than 218 characters for Excel files. If we shorten the file path, we can open the file. How can we do this? Now let's see it. Here click on the file, you either copy or cut the file, let's cut it and I go to the previous folder here and I paste it here. Now if I want to open it, it can be opened without any pop-up or error. Okay, right click on the file, open it, you see we can open it. Now let's check once again the file path characters. You see here this is now characters with spaces is equal to 192 characters. It is less than 218 characters. It was about the MS Excel. Now let's go to other files like MS Access, MS Word, and MS PowerPoint. You see here we have an MS Access database for students when we want to open it. It will show same error like Excel. You see we cannot open it because the file path is too long for this file same solution that we have for excel we have also for ms access if we right click and cut this file and we go back to the previous folder we paste it here now we can open it okay it shows us the file path is, is still too long we need to go to one more previous folder 
okay we cap this one we go to one more previous folder we paste it here when we want to open it we can open it now you see now it is time to check out the ms word and ms powerpoint they do not have the same case like excel and access they have a different case so which kind of case is that let's see that we have two files here one is ms word and the other one is ms powerpoint file we can open them anywhere they are they do not show any error if the the file path here is too long or too short it doesn't matter but the problem is we cannot make a new folder if the file path is too long we cannot make new folder that is the case now you see here if we create a new folder we cannot create a new folder it tells us the file name should be too long for the destination folder you can shorten the file name and try again or try a location that has a shorter path okay guys it was what i wanted to show you but guys if you don't want to have this kind of issue or problems or any error while you are opening any file or you cannot create a folder you have to shorten the file name and the folder name now you see here this the file path is very long we have to shorten the name of the folders from the beginning okay if we shorten all of them we can for example now you see here working files for job posting uh, for job posting working files is enough okay if we go back to the previous folder here is written job posting formats so no need to write the formats we can only write job posting we want to shorten the file path here go to the previous folder you see here again here is written job description format we can remove format and we keep it only the job description like this you can make the names of files short that's the solution a yeah, recruitment plan supporting files so no need to write supporting files we can write only the recruitment plan now let's go again see if we can create a new folder here you see we can create a new folder this is the solution all you have to do is to write the short names of your file and folder that's it guys goodbye